But dude, it's rare I cancel dates. I never do. I, I had to. He has to be the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. Like, I had to reschedule my uh, San Francisco dates because they recalled the district attorney. So. <laughs> that is still one of the best lies ever. Canceling a date because they recalled the district attorney. What? You know what's odd as well? I'm not too sure if you guys listen to other comedy podcast still but i'd still do and from time to time you'll hear comedians make a joke of cancelling shows because of low tickets it happens all the time it seems like sometimes you book a whole tour you might book in a market that you think you're big in but you're not actually big in the sales come through it's not going well you just knock it off the list it gives you a bit more time to rest in between maybe you can double up on dates where you sold out only keep it moving it seems to happen quite often. It's not like a big deal. But for some reason, Brendan's ego is so fragile, he can't even admit, oh yeah, I didn't sell tickets because, you know, I don't know, whatever. You just make a joke out of it. It's not that big of a deal. He makes all these convoluted tales and excuses for something that seems to be pretty standard in the industry. He has to be the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. Like I had to reschedule my uh, San Francisco dates because they recalled the district attorney. So... They wanted to push the dates till things are a little safer. Oh, you just said Iowa. Iowa means what in, in Igbo? It means unbelievable. I mean, you know how fucking stupid you have to be to even think something like that, let alone say it publicly and act like you're fucking serious. This quote says, if Shorb canceled because the city is too dangerous, why did Cobb's Comedy Club immediately fill his date with other comedians? Hmm. What's up, fam? My show this Friday at the Den Theater has been canceled. I'm headlining the uh, Moon Tower Comedy Festival oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. in nice. Austin, Texas. Honestly, bro, I swear to my life, if you had to ask me right now, hey, Agostino, what's your favorite Brendan lie? Moon Tower Comedy Festival is my favorite lie. That is my favorite Brendan Schaub lie because it's so dumb. It's so fucking redacted. It's just amazing. I love this lie. The lie goes something like this. Comedy festivals are <laughs> yeah. interesting. The comedy festivals are interesting, though, because it's like, I mean, I don't even know if you need to do them. I think if you're starting out or unless you're a huge headliner like Burr or someone, yeah. it doesn't make a ton of sense. Why not? Cause, because just financial doesn't make a ton of sense. Because yeah, if you're I could fly into even or you're, Austin you're and do my own show and make probably double the money than what the, the moon tower pay you. Oh, they, they so have a, it's they a have money a thing. You don't go for, for the me, it's a money. So like when you were in Austin doing uh, moon tower, yeah. I was literally an hour away doing a theater in San Antonio. And then just announced, I announced on my birthday. It's very rare. I celebrate things, but headlining the moon tower comedy festival festival in Austin, Texas, April 22nd through the 23rd. I'm at the new cap cities out there. Two shows Friday, two shows Saturday. And then April 22nd through the 23rd, I am headlining the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. Your boy is in Austin at the New Cap Cities. Oh, two shows Friday, wrong. two shows Saturday. <laughs> and then the big boy Moon Tower Comedy Festival is April 22nd through the 23rd. Get your tickets right now. I'm in Austin, Texas at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. I'm headlining the festival at Cap Cities. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> Uh, Austin, Texas, uh, breaking news there. Well, I announced it on my Instagram, but breaking news as far as podcast goes. Um, we we changed venues. We are at the Cap City Comedy Club, the new Cap City. I was going to open up their club, and they decided to put your boy in the historic Paramount Theater. Oh, really, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Moon Tower Comedy Club books Brendan 
for their comedy festival. It's a stacked festival. Bill Burr's on there, Tim Dillon's on there, all the who's who of fucking LA comedy stand-up scene are playing at the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. When they announced the Moon Tower Comedy Festival, they announced a partial lineup. In that partial lineup, there's not a lot of names on there. It's a festival, so there's going to be hundreds of names. Maybe there's under 50 names on there. And because there's under 50 names on there, they put some names at the top of people who you probably know of because they're trying to promote the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. So Brendan's name is at the top of the lineup just because they're promoting the first round of sales and whatever it may be. Anybody with a brain would have worked that out. For some reason, Brendan either thought because his name was at the top, he was headlining or he purposely misrepresented it and said he's headlining. And he got on the fire and the kid was like, yeah, I'm headlining the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. I'm a headliner. I'm so honored. Da, 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 da. And everyone was like on the Reddit and everybody was like, bro, you're not headlining. You're performing, which is great already. Like I said before about his fucking football career. There's no need to lie about it and to embellish it. The fact that you played for Colorado is still sick. Even if you didn't get many minutes, you didn't play as much. The fact that you got a picture of you in the gear is still good enough. You don't need to lie about your fucking combine numbers and stuff. It's excessive. Same with the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. You're playing on a lineup with all these all these big names in the comedy. That should be enough for you. Why do you need to lie about headlining? He carries on lying. People keep trolling him on the comments. You're you're not headlining. You're not headlining. He keeps push, keep pushing it. In the end, somehow, so then the next flyer comes out. And the following flyer with all the lineup with the full lineup on it has Brendan in the lineup, but he's not at the top. He's just jumbled in with everybody else. Then out of nowhere, he then says, I'm canceling the fucking show. And some people are surmising he canceled either because the stage that he was performing at didn't sell enough tickets, or people are surmising that he was afraid he'd get heckled. Because I think there were some people from the Reddit that were gonna go, or I think it was in some outdoor type of place it was like a comedy festival so it was obviously like a multi-stage place but his particular stage was in some outdoor type of place and he was worried people might drive by and throw tomatoes at him i don't know what's happening but honestly this is my favorite brendan shaw light ever i swear to god it's so fucking unnecessary so redacted so pathological that it makes me laugh every time i see the flyer I'm headlining Moon Tower Comedy Festival and then fast forward five minutes later, cancelled. Sorry, Austin. I'll be announcing a full weekend ASAP. <laughs> I won't be able to make it this Saturday. He cancelled it the same week as the, as the fucking event. I fucking love this guy. More and cancer. the reason why I had to cancel the other shows is because Saturday, March 4th, you think I would want to be anywhere else besides Thick Boy Studios doing a Calabasas fight campaign? To be fair to Brendan, let's give him some props. He does Anywhere look Anywhere else. But he does look 100 times better. I think he's not drinking as much personally. Big up Stinger Goo, appreciate you for the $2, brother. Thoughts on Shins and Lil Brown's new snippet. Yeah, we're going to we're going to play. We're going to play all of that. We're going to unfortunately we're going to play all that and we're going to react to it. Big up Stinger Goo, appreciate you. <sighs> Oh, fuck you for reminding me, man. I didn't want to play that shit, but we're gonna have to play it now. Thank you, <laughs> Stinger Goo. Oh. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Um, to give Brendan credit, he's not drinking as much. Let's be fair to him. I think he's actually either quit or he's not drinking as much before because he looked so puffy here. He looked inflamed like droopy eyed like he was hung over like drinking a lot so he's clearly on a zempic he's clearly watching what he eats and not drinking as much so give him props for that at least besides thick boy studios doing a calabasas fight campaign is it normal for comedians to cancel many shows as shorb does do any other comedians cancel as much as shorb or even come close exactly i want to know that i want a fucking comedian to answer this question like what is it with this guy keep canceling shows and keep booking them and keep rebooking them. I want to know, please. What what is going on? Please, fuck my wife. <laughs> if you know, you know. We might have to send him out to the fucking uh, clinic here, the brain clinic. Get him fucking checked out. I believe that was Brendan Shaw. That makes, that makes sense. sense. <laughs> Bye. You know what's funny? I swear that's the only words Dana White has said about Brendan directly. No. That makes sense. Four words he said about Dana. He said about Brendan. And Brendan's been talking about Dana all the time. 
and Daniel's only said three words to him somewhat directly. That makes sense. <laughs> Honestly, it's so good. I love it, man. That makes sense. It's like, wow. How can you just get burned by three words like that? It's so fucking perfect. But yeah, 